Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2017. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live CUBE coverage here at VMworld 2017. Three days, we're on our third day. Uh, VMworld, always a great tradition, our eighth year. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE, co-host with my Dave Vellante of Wikibon, and our next guest is Keegan Riley, Vice President and General Manager of North American Storage at HP Enterprise. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. Love the pin, always, uh, as always, wearing the, with flair. <laughs> um, love the logo, always comment on that when I first was skeptical on it, but now I love it. But uh, HPE doing great in storage with the acquisition of Simplicity and Nimble, where you had a good run there. Absolutely. Uh, we just had a former yeah. HPE um, entrepreneur now on doing a, star a storage startup. So we're familiar with the HPE storage, good story. What's the update now? You got Discover in the books, now you got the uh, Madrid coming up. Yep. Event, um, software-defined storage. That that pony's going to run for a while. What's the update? Yeah. So uh, appreciate the time. Appreciate you having me on. You know the way that we're thinking about HPE storage. It's it's interesting. It's um, the company is so different. I mentioned to you guys when we were talking before that I actually left HP to come to Nimble. So in some ways, you know, I, I, I'm approaching the gold pin for a 10 year anniversary at HP. <laughs> um, but and the, they retro the, that too, you get that grandfather. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Vacation time carries over, it's beautiful. Um, but the, the HPE storage that, uh, that I'm now leading is um, in some ways very different from the HP storage that I left six years ago. Um, and the vision behind HPE storage um, is well aligned with the overall vision of Hewlett Packard Enterprise, which is we make hybrid IT simple, we power the intelligent edge, and we deliver the services to empower organizations to do this. And the things that we're thinking about at Nimble, are, uh, and the things that we're thinking about as kind of a part of HPE, um, are well aligned with this. So um, our belief is, you know, everyone at this conference cares about whether it's software defined, whether it's hyper converged, whether it's all flash, so on and so forth. But in the real world, what clients tend to care about is kind of their experience. And we've seen this um, really fundamental shift in how consumers think about interacting with IT in general. The example that I always give is, you know, I've been um, in sales my whole career, I've traveled a lot, and historically, 15 years ago, when I would go to a new city, you know, I would land and uh, I would jump on an airport shuttle to go rent a car, and then I would pull out a Thomas Guide and I would go to sell C3 and <laughs> map out my route to the client and things like that, and so I just expected that if I had a meeting at 2 p.m., I needed to land at 10 a.m to make my way there, that was just my experience. Cut to today, you know, I land and I immediately pull out my iPhone and hail an Uber and you know, reserve an Airbnb when I get there and I, for a 2 p.m. meeting I can land at 1.15 and I know Waze is going to route me around traffic to get there. So my experience as a consumer has fundamentally changed. And that, um, that's true of IT organizations and consumers within those organizations. So IT departments have to adapt to that, yep. right? And so kind of powering this hybrid IT experience and, and servicing clients that expect immediacy is what we're all about. Okay, right? so I love that analogy. In fact, when we were at HP Discover, we kind of had this conversation. So as you hailed that Uber, IT wants self-driving storage. Absolutely. So I, you know, <laughs> That's good. bring that, tie that back in. That, we talked a lot about yeah. that in kind of a colorful, joking way, but that is the automation goal of storage, Absolutely. is to be available. We talk about edge, unstructured data, moving compute to the edge. Yep. It's nuanced now, storage and compute, all this is working together through software. Yeah. Self-driving storage means something you know, it's kind of a joke on one hand, but what does it actually mean for an IT guy? No, it's a, it's a great question, and this is exactly the way we think about it. And the self-driving car analogy is a really powerful one, right? Um, and so, um, the way we think about this, um, we're delivering a predictive cloud platform overall. And notice that's not a predictive cloud storage conversation. And it's a big part of why it made a ton of sense for Nimble Storage to become a part of HPE. We brought to bear a product called InfoSight um, that you might be familiar with. Sure. The idea behind InfoSight is in a cloud-connected world, the client should never know more about what's going on in their infrastructure than we do. 
So we view every system as being at the edge of our network. And for uh, about seven years now, we've been collecting a massive amount of information about infrastructure, about 70 million telemetry points per day per system that's coming back to us. So we have a massive anonymized data set about infrastructure. So we've been collecting all of this sensor data in the same way that, say, Uber or Tesla has been collecting sensor data from cars, right? And the next step, kind of the next uh, wave of innovation, if you will, is, okay, it's great that you've collected this sensor data, now what do you do with it, right? And so we're starting to think about how do you put actuators in place so that you can have an actual self-managing data center? How can you apply machine learning and global kind of correlation um, in a way that actually applies artificial intelligence to the data center and makes it truly touchless and self-managing and self-healing and so on and so forth. So that vision alone is when, when I'm sure when you pitched that to, to Meg, she was like, okay, that sounds good, let's buy the company. <laughs> uh, but as well, there was another factor, which was the success that Nimble was having. Yeah. Um, a, a major shift in the storage market, and you can see it walking around here, is that over the last five, seven years, there's been a shift from the storage specialist expert at managing LUNs and you know, yeah. deploying and tuning to the sort of generalist. Yep. Uh, because people realize, look, uh, there's no competitive advantage. Yep. So talk about that and how the person to whom you've sold in your career has yeah. changed. Yeah, no, absolutely, it's a great point. Um, and I think it's, it, in a lot of ways it goes to, um, you're right, obviously Meg and Antonio saw a lot of value in Nimble Storage. The value that we saw as Nimble Storage is uh, as a standalone storage company with kind of one product to sell, you know, there's a saying in sales that if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? And so it's really cool that we could go get on a whiteboard and explain why the Castle file system is revolutionary and delivers superior IOPS and so on and so forth, but the conversation is shifting to more of a solutions conversation. It moves to how do I deliver actual value and how do I help organizations drive revenue and uh, help them distinguish themselves from their competitors leveraging digital transformation. So being a part of a company that has a wide portfolio and applying a solution sales approach is, it, it's, it's game changing, right? Our ability to go in and say, I don't want to tell you about the Nimble OS, I want to hear from you what your challenges are, and then I'm going to come back to you with a proposal to help you solve those challenges. It's exciting for our sales teams, frankly, because it, it, it changes our conversations, it makes us more consultative. All right, talk about, this, talk about the sales. Value conversation. Talk about the, <laughs> sale, talk about the sales engagement dynamic with the buyer of storage. Traditionally, you mentioned in the old yep. days, now new days. Uh, a new dynamic is emerging. We've identified on theCUBE past couple days, and I'll just kind of lay it out for you, and I want you to get a sure. reaction. I'm the storage buyer of old. Yep. Now I'm the, the, the modern guy. I got to know all the ins and outs of speeds and feeds against all the competitors, but yep. now there's a new overlay on top of it, which is a broader picture across the organization that has compute, that has edge, so I, I feel more, not diluted from storage, but more holistic around other things. So right. I have to balance both worlds. I got to balance the, I got to know and nail the storage equation. Yeah. Okay, as well as know the connection points with how it all works, kind of almost as an OS. Yeah. How do you, uh, engage in that conversation, because um, it's hard, right? Because yeah. storage, you go right into the weeds, speeds and feeds under the hood, right. see our numbers, we're great, we do all the stuff, but now you got to say, wait a minute, but in a VM environment it's this, in the cloud it's like this, right. and it's a little bit of bigger picture, HACI or whatever that is. Yeah. How, do you, how do you deal with that? No, absolutely, and I, I think that's well said. I mean, I think the storage market historically has always been sort of, all right, do you want Granny Smith apples or Red Delicious apples, right? It always sort of looked the same, and it was just about, you know, I can deliver X number of IOPS, and it became a speeds and feeds conversation. Today, it's not just not apples to apples, it's like, do you prefer apples, pineapples, or vacuum cleaners? Like, there's so <laughs> many different ways to solve these challenges, um, and so you have to take the conversation to a higher level, right? It has to be a conversation about how do you deliver value to businesses. And I think, um, I, I hear And it gets this confusing to the buyers too because they're Absolutely. being bombarded with yeah. a lot of FUD. Absolutely. And then they still got to check the boxes on all the right. under the hood stuff. The engine's got to work. And they come to VMworld and every year there's 92 new companies that they haven't <laughs> heard of before that are pitching them on, hey, I solve your problems. I think um, what I'm hearing from clients a lot is they don't necessarily want to think about the, the storage. They don't want to think about 
do I provision RAID 10 or RAID 5? And do I manage this aggregate in this way or that way? They don't want to think about it, right? So I think this is why you're seeing the success of some of these next generation platforms that are radically simple to implement. Right? And, and in some ways, um, at Nimble, when we were talking to some of these clients who have sort of a, um, a legacy approach to storage where you've got like a primary LUN administrator, there's nothing wrong with that job, it's a great job, and I have friends who do that job, but a lot of companies are now shifting to more of a generalist, I manage applications and I manage you know, manage a dashboard console. Exactly, yeah. So you, you have to make it simple yeah. and you have to make it, you don't have to think about those things anymore. So in thinking about your relationship over the years with VMware, as HP, um, you were part of the cartel, I call it. You know, the <laughs> inner circle, sure. you got all the APIs early, all the, you know, the, the CDKs uh, or, or SDKs early. You know, you were one of the few. You, yeah. of course, EMC, NetApp, all the big storage players, a couple of IBM, a couple others. Okay, and then you go to Nimble, you're a little guy, yeah. and it's like, come on, hey, let's partner. Okay, <laughs> and, and so much has changed now that you're back at HPE. Yeah. How has that, how has VMware uh, evolved in, in, in from an ecosystem partner standpoint? Yeah. And then specifically, where are you at today with HPE? That's a great question, and I remember the early days at Nimble when you know, we were knocking on the door and they're like, who are you again, <laughs> Nimble who? Um, and, and we're really proud of sort of the reputation that we earned inside of VMware. They're a great partner, and they're, they've built such a massive ecosystem, and I mean, this show is incredible, right? They're um, such a core part of our business. At Nimble, I feel like we earned sort of a seat at that table in some ways through um, technology differentiation and you know just grit and hustle, right? We kind of edged our way into those conversations yeah. and performance. Um, and we started to get interesting to them from a strategic perspective as just Nimble Storage. Now as a part of HPE, HPE was, and in some ways as a part of HPE, you're like, oh that was cute, we thought we were strategic to VMware. <laughs> now we actually are very strategic uh -huh. to VMware and the things that we're doing with them um, from an innovation perspective, it's like just throwing you know, fuel on the fire, right? So we're, we're doubling down on some of the things we're doing around like VM Vision and InfoSight, um, our partnership with vSAN on ProLine servers, things like that. It's a great partnership. And I think the things that VMware's announced this week are really exciting. I Thank think you. Great to see you, great to have you on theCUBE. Thank you so much. I'll give you the last word. What's coming up for you guys in HP Storage? Um, as the Vice President General Manager, you're out there pounding the pavement. What should customers look for uh, from you guys? No, I, I appreciate that. There's a couple things. So um, first and foremost, um, our R&D budget just got a lot bigger, specifically around InfoSight. So you'll see InfoSight come to other HPE products, 3PAR, ProLiant Server, so on and so forth, and InfoSight will become a much more interesting cloud-based management tool for proactive wellness in the infrastructure. Um, second, you'll see us double down on our channel. Right, so the channel, Nimble was always 100% channel, SimpliVity was 100% channel, HPE storage is going to get very serious about embracing the channel. And third, we're going to ensure that the client experience remains top notch. The NPS score of 85 that Nimble delivered, we're really proud of that, and we're going to make sure we don't mess that up for our clients. You know, it's so funny, just an observation, but I worked at HP for nine years in the late 80s, early 90s, and then I've watched and been covering theCUBE for over seven years now. Um, storage is always like the power engine of HPE, <laughs> and no matter what's happening, it comes back down to storage. I mean, the earnings, the results, the client engagements, storage has moved from this corner kind of function to really strategic, Yeah, and it continues that way. Congratulations. Thank you so much, appreciate the time. All right, it's theCUBE. Coming up, Pat Gelsinger on theCUBE at one o'clock, stay with us. Uh, got all the great uh, guests and alumni and also executives from VMware coming on theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with more live coverage after this short break.